right, folks, welcome back to our core progression. Today we're going to be looking at levels 7 through 11. Um, and now we're just progressing this along as we remove the floor uh, as a way to manage gravity. So if you think about the floor, it provided us immediate feedback. If your lower back did not remain in contact, you were doing it wrong. If you were not able to feel your upper back moving back into the floor, you were doing it wrong. Now we're taking that away and you have to be able to uh, essentially manage your body uh, and maintain these like competencies in terms of like what it should feel like, what it should look like without the floor there. So as we move from the floor to a seated position, you're gonna find these uh, a little bit more difficult. As we move from seated to tall kneeling, even more so. Um, so the, the, in terms of what you should be feeling, should be exactly the same. You wanna feel and uh, find your hamstrings, your abs and your heels. And in terms of points performance, also the same, uh, with a few uh, small differences. Uh, when you're in that seated position, you're driving your heels back into that piece on the rower on the bottom there, but you still want belly button to belt buckle. You still want to reach and exhale. You still want that laser beam pointer on your sternum. Uh, and again, maintaining the, the same exact points of performance as yesterday. Tall kneeling now, you still want your heels going back, but now into the wall. And if you notice, I have an ab map basically between my heels and the wall to just help me sense that. I have a hard time really getting my heels all the way back uh, against the wall flush. So providing uh, either an ab mat there in the middle or you can use rolled up, a rolled up towel, uh, whatever works for you. Now I want my knees to be driving down into the floor so I can get as tall as I can. Additionally, we are still looking at belly button belt buckle, okay? We're trying to reach, exhale. I want a laser beam pointer on my sternum. Um, now, if you notice when I go through this progression, I'm using the foam roller now to accomplish my reach. Uh, and that's just basically to aid in some support. Uh, the tall kneeling position is very, very challenging. I mean, for sake of demonstration, I'm like, you know, skipping a bunch of steps, but you want to have developed the ability to manage all of these things in the easier versions first. Don't skip ahead uh, because if you notice uh, that vertical reach with, you know, unsupported was very, very challenging. I barely could hold on long enough to film the thing um, and I just wasn't ready for that progression. So remember, still start at step one, go to step two and really try to master these. And remember what we're trying to do here is develop your ability to find and feel the correct things, have it look a certain way when you're doing these low, fairly low threshold movement patterns so that when you're squatting, deadlifting, and benching, you're able to maintain the same competencies without, without really thinking about it. And that's the goal. Um, and that basically comes from this idea of invariant representation, where memories or skills are unfolded to fit a particular context. Uh, in the example of a, of a shortstop, right, which is what I heard Pat Davidson uh, mention in his Rethinking the Big Patterns, was, you know, a shortstop field to ground ball, only a handful of ways, but in a game time situation, you're gonna see that, that skill kind of unfold to fit the context and that's where you see all kinds of crazy plays. So that's what we're trying to do. Keep the mission the mission, divide and conquer as I was talking about the other day. Keep your core work uh, focused on sensing, feeling, um, really uh, trying to perfect things. You're, you're looking for mastery. And then when you're squatting, benching, deadlifting, uh, and improving fitness qualities, you're really focused on output. Uh, so if anybody has any comments or questions, please post below. Uh, otherwise, try some of these out with uh, yourself or your clients and uh, report back. Thanks so much.